the first method under uniform annual depreciation is called straight line method of depreciation the method itself speaks for the behavior of the graph so if we create a graph a graph of cost versus time where time is a number of years in the x-axis cost is in the y-axis so the graph of depreciation is a first degree line a straight line so we start with the first cost and as time goes by the cost of the equipment or the property is being depreciated until it reach its salvage value or the value after n or the useful life of the material so if we have here your first year one two three until the empty year here so if we observe the depreciation per year so for the first year we have this so we have your d1 for the second year you have your d2 for the third year we have your d3 so if you would notice the value of d1 is equal to d2 and also equal to d3 that is why it is called uniform annual depreciation so at time m so the value after m number of years is called the bvm or the book value after m years so if we create an equation out of the graph so if we make a line here this is your d or the total depreciation after the useful life of the material this is your dm now if we create an equation or equations we have d equals fc minus sv we also have bvm equals fc minus d m we can write this also into sv equals fc minus d now for the annual depreciation we have fc minus d 
over n. For the depreciation after m years, we have dm equals d times n. For the total depreciation, we have d or d times m, we have d equals d times n. So, where d1 or d is the uniform annual depreciation where d is the total depreciation after n years where dm is the total depreciation after m years your bvm is the book value after m years where sv refers to the salvage value and your m is any time before n while n is the useful life of property in terms of years so to further understand so let's solve a sample problem so 10 years ago a contractor was able to purchase a crane's capacities 2000 tons costing 125 pesos per ton the life was estimated to be 15 years with a salvage value of 10% of the cost. At present, abandoning the old green in favor of a modern model is being considered. A market had been found for the old green at 80,000 pesos. If the, depreciated, the depreciation has been figured on a straight line basis, what is the difference between the depreciation of book value of the old green and its sale value? So, to so this type of problem let us first identify the given so the first cost can be computed by the capacity of the crane so which is 2000 times more than or multiplied to 125 pesos and that is equal to Two hundred fifty thousand pesos. So this is the cost of the crane on the time it was purchased. Now, your salvage value is ten percent of the first cost. So this is ten percent multiplied by two hundred fifty thousand is equal to twenty-five thousand pesos. The useful life of the equipment is 15 years now. So the current number of years for its book value at present is 10 years. And it has a sale value of 80,000 pesos for the present year. Now, we are required to determine the difference between the present book value or the book value 10 years after the purchase and the sale value of the old crane. So in order to solve for the difference, we need first to solve for the book value. So. 
your book value is given by the formula FC minus depreciation after 10 years. So, let's solve for D10. So, D10 is equal to D, the annual depreciation multiplied by 10. So, that is equal to FC minus SV over N times 10. So, by substitution, we have 200 50,000 minus 25,000 over 15 multiplied by 10 and that is equal to 25,000 minus 25,000 over 15 times 10 so that is equal to One hundred fifty thousand pesos. Now, the book value after ten years is equal to your first cost minus the depreciated value of one hundred fifty thousand. So that is equal to. 100,000 pesos so the difference between the present book value and the sale value can be computed as 100,000 minus 80,000 and that is equal to 20,000 pesos so that is the difference